My trip to Seattle August 2010 was a lot of fun. Stayed in Mukilteo. Wayne and Don, that was the house they were moving out of. I think I got there on a Thursday and the next day of Friday we went on the boat. Alfred, my friend since grade school, came along. He lives in Seattle. We took turns piloting the boat. We're talking to uh, Alfred the Ahab. We're going to walk the plank. So. You see any uh, pirates out there? Yeah, well, yeah, I do. All pirates. 6.2 feet. Hey, Which way hey. should I go? Power boat aerial. We towed in a boat that was stranded and we had fun making up dramatic reasons uh, for the rescue to make it sound a little more than it was. Ah, the life. Here's the rescued boat owner. Stopped at a little marina. Anyway, then uh, I guess it was the next evening. Steve and Nancy threw a party. That's a great photo, hey? And then Sunday, I guess it was, I hung out with Alfred. There's his boat he just bought. There's his bus. No, we saw that at a Walmart. Shot of him a moment ago at work. He went by his office. Here we are bowling. Then we went and got some uh, food. There's the sights here at a grocery store. This is the view from Alfred's kitchen. That's his backyard. Great view of the sound from his balcony. Then I hung out with Mark Lindsay. Three different people and win my wallet again. Morning. 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 Mark, another uh, great school friend who also lives in Seattle now. He and I went down to the Pike Street Market. I can't go to Seattle without going there. It's just a lot of good energy, a lot of fun. Sights, sounds, smells. Famous fish market where they throw fish. dinner nearby. Here's Kay, I bless her soul. Had dinner over there with uh, David Crosby, <laughs> with Roger and Trish. We looked at some old photos. Next day I took a uh, drive to Chuck, a Chuckin' Up Drive up the road north of Seattle, a few miles from Canada. Very scenic. rental car there. Another night I went to, drove to Snohomish to the old Oxford Tavern. I played in an open mic there. Very fun evening.
Here's my grandparents' old house. There's the back view of it and an odd sign next door at the gas station. Down the street was uh, my favorite little novelty store, Archie McPhee's. And then another night we went to the Red Cut Cafe where I played an open mic. And I believe everyone I knew from Seattle was there. Came to give me a little support while I got to play two, three songs. Here's some of the other performers. We've got another video on Mark on YouTube that Mark shot of me doing one of my songs there. You can find that on my uh, TX Allen 972 page on YouTube. Trish and Roger and I took a walk around Green Lake. These are some of the sights and sounds. Bluegrass band practicing. A little swimming platform. A little chilly for me. And here I am back at Mark Lindsay's house. Had dinner with Mark and Janice and Harrison. Stayed at the Econo Lodge for oh, three or four nights. There's the uh, day room there. A nice little getaway, and of course I had to check out the baristas at the little espresso stand. And here's something we don't see down in Dallas, draw bridges. Waiting for the river traffic to get through. Here's the DNA bridge. I met up with Steve and Nancy and Mark. And we took a walk along Elliott Bay Bike Trail. I believe it was, believe it was called. Um, Hemp Fest was being set up for the coming weekend. And then there's parasailing over the, the bay. We went to a, an area with a lot of art. I believe it's all funded by the Gates Foundation people. That tree is made out of metal right there. There's a little mini greenhouse. Then we had lunch on the bay, sat outside. These are some of the sights immediately around the area. TVs above the urinals. Cruise ship about to depart. And we walked back to our cars. And by then it was my last day there. Said some goodbyes at Wayne's Pub. Spent the last night with Alfred who drove me to the airport the next morning. And I got on the plane, went home, and uh, gosh, I gotta come back as soon as I can.